Hi and welcome to another Trains tutorial. Today we're going to talk about uh, the copy and paste functionality of Trains. So let's jump into the route and what we'll do first is we'll extend it using 5 meter resolution. So we'll change our baseboard to be 5 meters in resolution and add a few more around. It should do. Then we will paint. Uh, let's do a ground texture uh, grass and we'll use this tool here to select the area there we go and we'll fill it Come on, it's filling the area. Right, we then have some baseboards to start copying and pasting, or at least adding some assets and then copying and pasting. First off, uh, I've got a little bit of a list here. I'll start to create a little bit of detail. What we're gonna use this tool for is to quickly expand um, some detail into our route without having to individually place down single assets over and over again. All right, something like that. Uh, put a few bushes around and a couple of trees. Uh, let's change the change the season. We don't want them looking like that. I'd like them green, please. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have a few bushes, uh, bits of grass and some trees, but we want to quickly fill a large area uh, to create a bit of a, a bit of a forest scene or, or section. What we can do now is we can jump to uh, our tools and under here we have uh, the copy and paste functionality. What we'll do is we'll select the area we want to copy uh, roughly somewhere around here and we will select add height objects this one replaces them this one adds to the scene so replace will completely uh, replace anything and add will continue adding more objects over and over let me show you the difference first off I'll turn off um, terrain and painting and track and I just want to copy the pay, uh, the objects. So once I've got uh, what I want here, I'll use replace and objects for now just to show you what happens. Um, so if we were to paint over and over, it replaces whatever assets are there. If we use the add, let me just backtrack. Select add. Uh, I don't believe I have to select it again, so I didn't need to do that, but when we go, we can continue adding objects over and over again so it gets more and more dense. Be careful with the add. I'm going to use the add feature in this, but be careful with that because uh, obviously you can start to run into performance issues because you're putting lots and lots of assets over and over again in the same spot. Um, but what we're going to do is we've got this directional uh, rotation and we can start to turn that around. Um, I do believe there's a shortcut key. Where is it? That one. Uh, nope, okay, thanks very much. Right, and so we add a few more, not on top of each other, a few more around by uh, a few more rotations and we start to grow our, our area there. We grab it again and uh, everything's still selected so we just go into pace mode again, change the rotation start to get this kind of scene looking like it's growing and getting all bushy and what we really want so again and control F or undo will get you back to uh, cleaning something out if you if you're not happy with it uh, and that's probably 
pretty good size where I want to be right now. Finally, we'll do a few more. That'll do for now. So that'll get our scene looking pretty dense quickly with copy and paste. And then what we want to do now is we'll run our track through here. Uh, we'll probably want to get a little bit closer. Go back into copying and pasting this. Grab a line of it here. Uh, get a little bit closer. go that'll probably do and as you can see we now have this thick forest we'll add a little bit of height variation in the terrain like that I guess. Is it looking a bit different? And then we can copy paste again. Something a bit bigger. And we want the terrain as well this time. And we'll flip that. We'll put it over here. Maybe a little bit closer. Okay. Finally, we'll want to clean up the track. So let's flatten that spline and probably clean away any objects off the track. It's looking pretty good. They're not too close. And that's quickly built uh, a bit of a, a forest scene or a lush green scene at least. Go into our textures, put some gravel under there. And there you go, that's the base. Once you get to that point, you can start to apply some rocks. Uh, got one here somewhere that looks all right. Here we go. No, that's definitely not it, this one. And you can set up certain special individual items. Um, and you can also copy paste those as well. But that should get you set up using copy paste and quickly get areas filled using those tools. Thanks for watching.